Well, Tucker, probably disappointing for you not to get a chance to be a part of things down the stretch, but certainly a big part of things uh, as the team got on a roll in the second half of the year. And, and what did it mean to be a part of that experience? Yeah, it was great to, to be with the team on that run. Uh, like you said, unfortunately, couldn't, couldn't make it out there for the last stretch there, last few games. But uh, it was exciting to be part of uh, post-Christmas, the run we went on. Challenging year uh, for the hockey club and for you personally. We'll talk about the team first. Uh, the, the bumps in the road in the first half of the year seemed to set the stage for the success in the second half. Uh, can you explain the turnaround? Uh, yeah, when we got back from Christmas, uh, we had a team meeting and, and coach kind of called us in and said, you know, I think we got the group to do it. You know, we've had some unfortunate things happen and things haven't gone our way. But if we uh, kind of come together as a team, I think we can go on a run and we went on a pretty good one and just came up short. Uh, interestingly uh, for you personally, you had a, a long injury absence, but were able to come back and, and maybe play the best hockey you've played as a professional. What did it mean to you to be able to hit that stretch and, and find that growth in your game? Yeah, it was a couple, it was a long two months or whatever it was, seven seven weeks or so. Um, but to come back and then be a part of the, this group was uh, pretty fun to be with and we were winning games and um, I just enjoyed it a lot and it was fun to be playing hockey again. And on a personal level, how did you feel about where you got to with your game? Uh, personal level, I, I think I was doing some good things. Uh, probably reflect on it over the next couple more weeks here and uh, digest a little bit. But uh, there's some good things I was, I was happy with. How tough is it to see this group break up at this point and not be able to play playoff games, given the way they were able to win 39 games as a team, the, the second most in the division? Yeah, it uh, yeah it stings every every lots of years end this way and uh, you know you just gotta enjoy it and remember it and come back next year ready to go. Injury wise, how close are you to being able to to be healthy and and to get active again? Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see here. There's uh, well, the moves aren't playing here, so it's kind of a little bit on the back burner, but uh, maybe a couple more weeks. How do you feel about your, your growth personally from, from last summer to where you are this year? I mean, Coach Vincent talked about you pretty much on a nightly basis, how, how reliant he was on you throughout the year. So just how do you feel about your growth overall? Yeah, um, you know, this year uh, when, I, when I was out there, I played some played a lot of minutes and, um, you know, you get put in pressure situations, you get put in, um, you know, all situations, power play, PK, five on five. and. Um, you either kind of grow or, or you don't perform. You kind of do one or the other. Um, so I think I got to learn from a lot of that and a lot of that ice time. Is there something you can reflect back on in a moment in, in the from the season that was you know, unique or something that you was a positive that you can look back on and say, well, I really enjoyed that aspect of the season? Uh, well, just in general, uh, that run we went on, um, the whole team kind of came together and we kind of playing off each other and there's a good vibe in the room and uh, uh, that in a nutshell, that was that was it. Um, I, you know, you kind of get emotional into it, and that kind of helps up your game and um, kind of elevates things a little bit.